আজকে আমার একটা বহু দিনের স্বপ্ন পূরণ হতে চলেছে ইনফ্যাক্ট হয়েই গেছে কারণ আমার একজন অত্যন্ত প্রিয় অভিনেতার সঙ্গে ইতিমধ্যে আলাপ হয়ে গেছে কিংবদন্তি অভিনেতা নাসির উদ্দিন শাহ অ্যান্ড অ্যাবসলিউট অনার স্যার গার্লেন্ড অফ জেমস হাউ ডিড দিস প্রজেক্ট কাম ইন টু বিং অ্যান্ড হাউ ডিড ইউ গেট টু বি অ্যাসোসিয়েটেড উইথ দ্য প্রজেক্ট ঊষা জি ইট ওয়াজ ইট ওয়াজ হার আইডিয়া অ্যান্ড হার ইনিশিয়েটিভ দ্যাট গট মি ইনভলভ ইন দিস শি জাস্ট আস্ট মি ফ্যাট লাইক টু রেসিটেশন অফ সাম অফ গুরুদেবস পোয়েট্রি সো আই কনসিডার দ্যাট টু বি এ গ্রেট অনার অ্যান্ড অ্যাপার্ট ফ্রম দ্য ফ্যাক্ট দ্যাট টু বি অ্যাসোসিয়েটেড উইথ ঊষা হু I have been listening to since I was a teenager. Uh, <laughs> I hope that doesn't make her sound too old. <laughs> but that's the truth. She's been around a long time and I'm a huge fan of hers. In Junior Statesman one day I came across the photograph of this very traditional looking lady. Uh looked as if she just come from a wedding but she was holding a microphone and looked as if she was belting the hell out of this number that she was singing. Uh, this photograph intrigued me greatly uh, and then i heard the voice and and i was even more intrigued i've been a fan of usha ji since how did tagore first come into your life and how did that journey start by being compelled in school to memorize a poem from the gitanjali <laughs> and we were compelled to memorize a lot of things including tables and various poets uh, as part of our studies so one wasn't too appreciative at that age <laughs> you have to admit but mercifully for that because of that exposure when i encountered his work again i was able to uh, appreciate it and, uh, and realize the depth and then when i was in college one of my professors did a production of his play chitra in which i played arjun so it has been a fleeting connection but everywhere i go there is a, a theater dedicated to tagore so there is a constant reminder of his presence the first poem from the gitanjali i have come to you day after day o lord of my life shall i stand before thee face to face with folded hands often translations are uh, criticized by uh, people say that they're not as faithful to even the best translations aren't 100% faithful to the original works so your take on that i don't uh, i don't know if it's the job of a translation to be 100% faithful or to communicate the essence of what is being translated therefore translation is a very tricky business Uh, I I feel that uh, uh, Gurudev must have written some of this these poems in English as well himself so they're not strictly speaking translations uh, in the same way as Samuel Beckett's work which he he wrote first in French and then I would say rewrote in English rather than translated it I think translations serve an academic purpose uh, of of exposing people who don't know that language to those these works beyond that i'm not too much in favor of translations i don't think you can capture the exact flavor of a language in any other o oh lord of all worlds shall i stand before thee face to face under thy great sky in solitude and silence with humble heart shall i stand before thee face to face in this laborious world of thine tumultuous with toil and with struggle among hurrying crowds shall i stand before thee face to face do you listen to robindra songeet per se um no i'm afraid i don't i don't listen to much music anyway i um, somehow when i uh, feel the need to unwind i i rather play tennis or cricket or go for a ride or a swim or something right yeah i'm not much of a music person from the gardener if there is no one responding is that your call again the evening 
has come. Weariness clings round me like the arms of entreating love. Do you call me? Finally, sir, you've worked with some of the stalwarts as far as directors are concerned in Bengal itself, Mrinal Shain, Gautam Ghosh. Do you think that there is a difference in sensibilities between uh, Bengali filmmakers and others? Uh, well, um, among the serious filmmakers, I see the same kind of uh, aspirations. Uh, sometimes not quite in keeping with their abilities, but they, they remind me of each other, the serious filmmakers of Bombay and Calcutta. What is disturbing is the trend of uh, making pseudo Bollywood movies in Bengali that seems to have caught fire. Uh, and I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, I, at least the audiences are getting their fantasy trip in their own language. But I feel let down because there's enough of that Bollywood nonsense around, you know, and we don't need more of it. Unfortunately, the Bengali film industry seems to have succumbed to the temptation of the quick buck um, and, and forgotten the fact that, uh, I hope they haven't forgotten the fact that it was people like Mr. Ray and Mr. Sen and uh, Mr. Khatak who started it all. And, and if that tradition were to, to disappear in Bengal, I think that would be extremely tragic. I have given all my day to you, cruel mistress. Must you also rob me of my night? Somewhere there is an end to everything, and the loneliness of the dark is one's own. Must your voice cut through it and smite me? Has the evening no music of sleep at your gate? Do the silent winged stars never climb the thy sky above your pitiless tower? Do the flowers never drop on the dust in soft death in your garden? Must you call me? You unquiet one. Another thing, on a lighter note, Kolkata is known for food lovers to be in El Dorado. Oh, yeah. So, are you planning to take something back to Mumbai? Oh, and I take my usual koda of mishti doi, which I, <laughs> which I, which I hide and which I can uh, <laughs> eat by myself. <laughs> <laughs>